I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Pacific Islander square. I take two fingers at the top and I put a dot in the middle. Two fingers on the right, put a dot. On the bottom, two fingers, put a dot. On the left, two fingers, put a dot. I take the top dot and I draw a straight line out, straight line down. Come on the bottom dot, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Come over here on the left, we're going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, connect. Come back to the top, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Now on every corner we're going to draw a straight diagonal to the corner, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight diagonal. Okay, starting on the inside in the center, put a dot, and we're going to draw straight diagonal, spiral, on the left, straight diagonal out, spiral, on the right. Come back to the left, straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal, up, connect. We come underneath and we put a dot, and from that dot I draw a big curve line down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, big curve line out, down, and connect. Right at the bottom, curve line down, curve line up, connect. Inside, let's draw a baby circle and a baby circle inside. And now we're going to draw a straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Come on the right hand side, straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Come on the left hand side, we're going to draw one, two, three straight lines. On the right hand side, one, two, three straight lines. Come over here on the right, we're just going to draw a curve line out, in, up, connect. Come inside, draw a curve line, and now zigzag, 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 connect. Come on the left hand side, curve line out, in, up, connect, curve line down, zigzag, 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 zigzag. Okay. Come down here on the left and we're going to draw a curve line, curve line down, curve line up, connect on the left, curve line down, curve line down, curve line up, connect. Draw a curve line inside on the left, Curve line inside on the right, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag on the left, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag on the right. Okay, now come over here to the right hand side and we're going to be drawing curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line bigger, bigger, bigger and now we're going to start drawing curve line circle curve line inside keep going keep going curve line circle curve line inside keep going keep going keep going and we'll talk about symbols in a minute big curve line Curve line inside, keep going, keep going, keep going. Little one if you can fit it, curve line, curve line inside, keep going, keep going, keep going. Looking at this, I can add even more. This is my lead in circles, so I can even add more little curve lines. 
Okay, let's put another one right here. Okay, now up at the top, put a dot on the left, wavy line, wavy line, connect, wavy line, wavy line, connect, wavy line, wavy line, connect. Put a little curve line, one, two, one, two, little curve line, one, two, one, two. Little curve line, one, two, one, two, 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 little curve line, if you have room, one, two, one, two. All right, now. Curve lines all the way across. Keep going. Curve lines. Curve lines. Curve lines. All the way across. Okay? Now come over here to the left. At the top, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line down. Come back to the dot. Curve line down. Up at the top, <clears throat> excuse me, curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Now we're going to come inside, draw some curve lines, and draw some curve lines down. All the way up, all the way down. Now come down and draw a little baby flat oval, straight line, straight line, curve line at the bottom, little baby flat oval, Straight line, straight line, little curve at the bottom. Little baby oval, flat oval, straight line, straight line, curve line at the bottom. Inside, little curve lines to divide up the space. Okay? Come down to the bottom, we're going to draw this again. Put a dot, curve line down, over, curve line up, down, over, connect. Up, down, up, down, up, down, curve line, curve line, curve line, little curve lines intermittently inside. Okay? Now we should be at the very bottom, put a dot, baby circle, triangle, triangle, put a dot, I mean a baby circle, triangle, triangle, Baby circle, triangle, whoops, triangle. All right, come back to the first one. We're going to draw a straight diagonal out, wavy line, straight line in, connect. Wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. If you can fit one in, wavy line. Come to the next one. I squished mine a little bit, but it'll still work. Wavy line, connect. Wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, little wavy line. One more if you can fit it. Straight line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, connect. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my black and color this section in black. I'm going to color these spaces black. And what you have to remember is, is that these kinds of drawings for the Pacific Islanders, they use a lot of patterns, repeating patterns. They do it on their actual art, but this is also how they make their tattoos, what they put on their houses. Okay, we're going to just draw a little curve line, a little curve line, and fill this space in black also. Now, any zigzags, we're also going to fill in black. And all the way, okay? Now, here's the deal. Repeating patterns, whatever, and symmetry. symmetry. Whatever you do on the left, you need to do on the right. This little baby circle, that should be black. Okay. I forgot a part, naturally. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Now see, I always forget something, but I discover it when I start coloring it in. 
and this should all be black also. All the way up, over, and around. Okay? Try and get that black, black. Okay. Next, you're going to use your brown, but you're going to do it two ways because you're going to use light brown to color in this space. Okay? And you're going to use light brown to color the outside of these spaces by your zigzags. Then you're going to come in, oops, sorry, you're going to do this space also, light brown. Then once you've done that light brown, you come in and you color this space, the opposite side, or the interior side of your zigzag, dark brown. Okay? Alright. Then, you're going to take your blue turquoise and you're just going to draw straight lines in the background. This represents a turtle, Pacific Islander turtle, and all the blues is water. Okay, so wherever you see blue, it's going to be water. Next thing, Pacific Islanders, islands. So this top part are islands. I could have put a uh, volcano in there also, because they do have a lot of volcanoes. So let's color this space blue. Lots of oceans. And you've got the Filipinos, and you have New Zealand, and Samoa, and all of those island places. Let's make our islands brown, so we know that's what this is. These should all be brown. And you will do a way better job than me, filling all this in. And then, because so much of it is beach and tropical, we're going to do this green. Put some green on there. Okay? All the way. Green. Now, come over to your pineapple. We're going to do this yellow-green tops. And this is sugar cane. So we're going to put some light green on there. Then we're going to get our yellow. And we're going to color in our pineapples yellow. Put another coat of yellow on our sugar cane. And bring that all the way down. And then, because it's so lush, we're going to take our green and color in the background with green. Okay? Now we come over to these circles. And these, you're just going to take a regular blue and we're just going to draw a blue line where the black line is. And this is a very important repeating pattern. If you look at it, you can kind of see that the Pacific Islanders, this kind of represents water. Okay, remember, the ocean is part of their environment. Very important to life and how they live their lives. So these are all symbolic of oceans. Then I come down to my tropical flowers and I do the triangle part yellow. So these should all be yellow. Come in with my pink and do all of my petals, this space, pink. These could be lilac, purple. You can have fun with these tropical flowers. Okay. And again, using green, let's color in the background. Again, very lush, tropical. Island living. 
beautiful. These, this background we leave alone. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, this is my Pacific Islander Square all colored in. And this is representative of just one part of all of the island cultures. Okay, bye-bye.